Hi, I'm QDC. What we're going to build today is Tamiya's Russian Army tank crew at rest. The reason why I bought this particular kit was because of an earlier um, model kit that I built called the KV-2 tank by Zvezda Models. Um, I built this particular kit and made a video out of it and I really like this kit a lot made by Zvezda Models. So much that I decided that I want to make a diorama out of it using the Tamiya's uh, kit right here. Now in this particular kit it has six figures but I'm going, to, I'm going to use only four of them. Now in this video I'm going to show you one figure that I'm going to construct and paint and then I'm going to show you how, I, how I'm going to build a diorama out of this, um, out of this particular kit. Both of them. So let's go ahead and start um, building this kit now. Let's go take a look inside this box. All the figures in this kit looks good, well detailed, good facial expressions, and I don't see there's any uh, faults about this kit so far. It's time for me to paint the model figure and I'm going to start with the flesh tone. Um, I had a comment from a previous video and this viewer, um, I can't mention her name because I haven't got permission for me to uh, mention her name on this video, but she wrote a comment saying that I was using my, um, uh, my paints that were too thick on the flesh tones and she recommended me to apply two thin coats instead. So I'm going to take her advice. And uh, thank you. Uh, you know who you are. I'm going to paint highlights onto this woman's um, clothes and before I do that I want to show you uh, a picture of an old advertisement that was made back in the 1930s for, um, for a suit and I want to focus your attention onto this man's trousers. What I'm pointing at is um, a, a crease right here that has been represented by a white, hot, almost white highlight. And as you notice, um, when you go away from the white highlight, the, um, the color gets darker and darker and darker until it reaches the next seam. And I'm going to represent that white highlight by painting it um, with the lighter color of my uniform on this woman. So I just took out my paintbrush and I'm going to paint the highlights onto this woman's pants. It's, I'm going to paint the shadows for uh, for the clothing now, and I want to go back to um, the advertisement of this old picture. Going, focusing your attention back onto the man's trousers, you notice that as the highlights um, end on the next fold, you see the darker shadows right here, and you also see some darker shadows over here and over there as well. So I'm going to imitate that onto my model by giving um, shadows when the highlight ends. So I'm taking out my brush that has a darker color 
and I'm going to carefully brush that onto the place where I think it's going to be a shadow. I just finished painting the face and it looks good. There are many uh, various uh, highlights and shades that make up the face and it's next to impossible for me to actually show you um, how I painted these, uh, this face because it's next to impossible for me to actually paint behind the viewfinder of a camera. So I'm going to have to describe to you how I paint this with words. Right now you're looking at an old um, advertisement from the 1930s and I want to have you pay attention to the center picture here of this woman. How the artist paint uh, drew this woman is exactly how I painted the figure on my uh, on the face of my figure. You notice that there's uh, highlights on her forehead, on the bridge of her nose, on the upper lip, and also on the cheek. And you also notice that there's a dark shadow here. Then it gets a bit lighter here on the cheekbones. And there's some little bit of shading here on the ends of her face and the bottom of her face as well. And I copied that exactly onto my model. Okay, so I just finished painting and constructing that one figure. And now I want to show you all the figures that are done. Take a look. These are the finished figures. Um, this woman looks pretty good. Um, I liked everything that done on her. Uh, painting of the, um, the clothes and the face. She looks very feminine. For this figure, he's okay. He's not the best one that I've made, um, but he looks still pretty good. This tanker here, this guy. And this guy, he looks pretty good. I like him. He's just sitting perched on top of the, um, the turret and he's just simply looking down. Excellent. And my favorite is this guy right here. He looks fantastic. Very good face, facial expression. Very good body posture. He looks very, very good. And um, he's just my favorite. This is the KB2 tank um, from the Zvezda models. And this is basically my um, the main character for my story diorama and as you can well see it's a very well made model um, made by the best of models it was fairly easy to put on and the weathering I've done is exquisite very well detailed very realistic uh, if you're interested in knowing how I actually built this uh, model tank from the best of models take a look at uh, the previous video that I made for this particular kit It's time for me to make the diorama. What I'm pointing at is a wooden base that I bought at my local craft store and I stained it three times to give it this nice rich color. I'm going to use premixed tile grout as my ground base cover. Then I'm going to use static grass, then railroad grass, and more um, tile grout. Alright, so I completed my entire diorama from the start to the end and now it's time for me to show you what I think about my work.
take a look. The deer arm was all finished and this is the conclusion. It looks very very good. Now all the figures that I made are made into a story in which three men are looking at this um, beautiful woman right over here. This particular kit um, is very good. I like the figures, very well detailed. And the diorama itself is very nice too. I like the groundwork, I like the base, and of course I like the tank and the figures as well. Very well detailed, and I'm very proud of this diorama that I made. <laughs> that completes this model kit. Um, right now my cat wants to be with me right now so I'm going, to, we're going to uh, make this last part of the video get together. So uh, this model kit uh, the figures was very good and I really like the diorama as well. It's a very um, good diorama that I made and um, it's good. I liked it a lot. So for those of you who are um, you know, shy about making model t uh, painting model figures, uh, my advice is just really just keep on practicing. Practice makes perfect. And, uh, and also, like, you know, like the old saying goes, it, uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So for those of you who are shy about making uh, painting figures, just keep on practicing. You can't go wrong. So what you're about to see next is a video slideshow of my, uh, my finished diorama. And as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a, um, a model kit expert. I'm not an expert. I'm just a regular guy, just like you. <laughs> I'm QDC, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Hey, say goodbye.